Inside our bodies, we have our own internally manufactured morphine. Now these substances are called endorphins and they are involved in some really basic, very old parts of our brains. They're involved in regulation, internal regulation of pain and emotion and they're involved in our reward system. So when we have external addition of morphine, we're really altering a fundamental system within our bodies. What that does is that it will alter the amount of your own morphine that is available to you. Now, the corollary to that is that it's often people who may have a history of abuse, major stressors, anxiety and depression may have quite low levels of their own internally manufactured morphine. And so for them it feels like, oh, this is normal. I now have a normal amount of these morphine type drugs in my system. So it's very different for different people. So although we know that the morphine type drugs are addictive, we know that those drugs work so differently and have different risks depending on your psychological makeup and very much on your life experiences so far. And that's the same with any drugs of addiction.